Today we're reviewing the. Wait, what are we reviewing? How about this one? Mmm, no. How about this one? Mmm, no. How about this one? Yeah, that one. By the way, you're wearing the wrong outfit. Oh. Anyway, let's try that again. Today, we're reviewing the Nerf Elite Junior Voyager Target Set. I'm Joy from Foam Fighters, and let's go. This is a blaster made for younger kids. It's small, it has a scope which doesn't have a reticle, and it doesn't have much recoil. This blaster is great for its intended audience, as it has a simple design with not many moving parts. This blaster is pretty consistent, averaging about 30 feet. It's nothing crazy, but it's really good for kids playing with their friends, not playing competitively. This blaster can hold two darts and has no extra storage. It works nicely and I don't feel the need for using extra darts when I use it. Like always, I stood 10 feet away from the target, took 10 shots, and out of all of them I hit the target once. However, it feels really accurate and it mainly lacked the power to reach the target. This blaster can unload pretty quickly due to it only having two darts, and you can get both out in about two seconds. You can reload this blaster pretty easily, and if you have darts on you, I think you'll be okay. To use this blaster, all you have to do is put your darts in the front, prime it, and fire. Really simple and great for kids. Now it's time for the fear factor. Even though it's not that scary. I like this blaster's simple yet appealing design. It has bright colors which are great for children and you don't see that often in Nerf Elite blasters. This blaster is compact and I guess that's since it's made for smaller kids. So the stock won't reach my shoulder. So I find myself treating it more like a pistol even though you have to use your second hand to climb. This blaster is proportionate for younger kids. So the stock would reach their shoulder and they can use it like normal. I hope you learned a lot about the Nerf Elite Junior Voyage target set. Why are these names so complicated? And see you next time.